In the quiet hours, in the silence of your journey, it may seem as though the world has forgotten you. As a chosen one, you've likely asked yourself why there are such extended seasons of stillness, moments where you feel hidden, almost invisible. These periods, however, are far from empty. They are sacred spaces God has designed specifically for you, a gift of silence filled with His presence, where He prepares your heart for something extraordinary, in God's divine plan, the silence you experience is far from meaningless. It's not a punishment or a void but a time of profound preparation and growth. The absence of external noise creates space for you to hear God's voice more clearly. This quiet time is where your strength is fortified, where your roots grow deeper, and where you learn to lean entirely on Him. Each moment of stillness is a part of God's intricate plan to equip you with the faith, endurance, and resilience necessary for the incredible path He has prepared. Just as C.S. Lewis believed, God's purpose for us is often nurtured in the unseen and uncelebrated moments. These times of silence are God's way of shaping your heart, refining your spirit, and anchoring your soul in unwavering faith, during this period, God molds your faith, allowing it to mature without the distractions of the world. This quiet time isn't about isolation, it's about intimacy with God. In a world constantly seeking recognition and praise, God invites you to turn inward, to seek His validation above all else. C.S. Lewis noted that true fame in God's eyes is about faithfulness, not earthly recognition. Here, you are called to cultivate faith that is independent of external approval, to build a foundation rooted in God's promises and unfailing love. Before God places you in a position to influence others, He desires to see that you trust Him, not just in times of abundance, but in the silence, where His voice is the only one guiding you, the world around you often measure success by visibility, wealth, and influence. Yet, God measures success by faithfulness, humility, and a heart willing to surrender to His timing. In these sacred seasons of silence, He is setting you apart, molding you to embody His truth. You are not bound by the world's definition of fame or success. You are chosen for a divine purpose, one that surpasses the temporal rewards the world chases. Embracing this chosen path means being willing to walk in stillness, knowing that God is working behind the scenes, preparing the stage for the moment when He will reveal you to the world. Until then, remember that the silence is not an empty waiting room but a holy space where God's hand is shaping every facet of your soul. In the silence, humility finds its place within you, not as a temporary state, but as a deeply transformative experience. It's here, in the quietness of waiting, that you begin to release the grip of pride and the desire for external validation. The world often measures worth by accolades, but God values something far deeper, a heart that seeks His approval above all else. In this time of stillness, humility is more than just an outward behavior, it becomes a posture of the heart, a surrender to God's way, where you find peace in aligning your intention solely with His purpose. Each moment spent in this silence becomes a refining process, shedding layers of self-importance and worldly ambition, making room for a strength that is grounded in faith and resilience. As you embrace waiting, you are being prepared to become a vessel, capable of bearing the weight of God's glory. C.S. Lewis spoke of the weight of glory not as something flashy or self-glorifying, but as the inner strength to fulfill God's calling with integrity and courage. This calling is not about the fleeting recognition of the world, it's about allowing God's purpose to shine through you, illuminating others by the light of His love. In embracing humility, you become anchored, learning to rest in the profound knowledge that God's plan will unfold at precisely the right moment. This sacred period of preparation is your time to cultivate trust and patience, recognizing that your responsibility is to remain faithful taking each step with grace. Here, humility isn't just an abstract ideal, it becomes your compass, guiding you through the waiting, teaching you to find joy in obedience and peace in God's perfect timing. The glory that awaits is not one of personal fame but a life transformed, ready to carry out His divine purpose, 
During this period, silence often amplifies the voice of doubt. Fear and insecurity may try to convince you that you are forgotten, that perhaps you aren't chosen after all. But understand that these voices do not belong to God, they are distractions, attempts to pull you from His peace. The silence you experience is a powerful reminder that God is near, that His plans for you are unfolding even in the quiet. Remember the words of James, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In this silence, every doubt and fear can be replaced by trust and faith, standing firm in the assurance that God is at work even when you cannot see it, what may feel like a delay is, in truth, divine timing unfolding with purpose. In this silence, you are not experiencing stagnation, but rather the profound, unseen work of God preparing the path before you. His plan is woven with care, orchestrating details, people, and events to align perfectly with His purpose for your life. Each moment spent waiting, though it may feel idle, is a critical component in this divine arrangement. Just because you cannot see the progress doesn't mean it isn't happening. Instead, it is a reminder that faith calls you to trust beyond sight. C.S. Lewis likened this hidden work to the development of one's character, an internal process that happens away from the spotlight, emerging only when it is ready to shine. Like a seed planted deep in the soil, growth occurs in secret, breaking through the surface only when it's fully prepared. In the same way, God's timing is never off, every delay serves a purpose, chiseling away what doesn't serve you and strengthening the parts that do. His timing is perfect, and the silence is filled with meaning, guiding you toward the life He's destined for you, with each passing day, you are drawn nearer to His appointed time. A moment that will reveal the purpose behind every quiet, unseen sacrifice. This period of waiting is a sacred opportunity to deepen your trust, knowing that God's vision for you is beyond anything you could orchestrate. The silence, then, becomes a sanctuary where faith is strengthened, preparing you for the exact moment when His plans for you will unfold in their fullness. Embrace this stillness, for in it, you are moving closer to the perfect timing of His promise. In this time of preparation, God calls you to surrender fully to His plan. Surrendering doesn't mean passively waiting, it means actively trusting that His way is best. Submission to God is an invitation to rest, to let go of control, and to place every worry, every fear, in His hands. As you let go of the need to understand every step, you make room for God's peace to fill you. Surrender is where true strength is found, as it aligns your heart with God's purpose and opens the door for His blessings to flow into your life, religious institutions and traditions can sometimes limit our understanding of God's calling. God's love and purpose extend beyond human structures, and as a chosen one, He has called you out from the constraints of religious formality. You are not bound by man-made rules but are liberated to pursue a relationship with God that is authentic, profound, and personal. C.S. Lewis often spoke of the difference between real faith and the hollow structures that humans can create. You are chosen to embody a faith that is raw, unfiltered, and full of God's grace. God's kingdom is not about hierarchy or rituals, it's about a heart yielded to Him. The silence is also where God fortifies you, preparing you to stand firm amid adversity. Trials and challenges refine you, like a flame that purifies gold, burning away impurities and leaving only what is precious. The scars you bear from past battles are not marks of failure, they are evidence of God's hand sustaining you. Every tear, every heartache, and every struggle has strengthened you, preparing you for the purpose He has called you to. You may not yet see the fullness of this preparation, but trust that God has equipped you for what lies ahead. God's elevation of His chosen ones is not a privilege but a responsibility. As you step into the spotlight, remember that it is not for your glory but His. You have been chosen to be a beacon of hope, to shine His love and truth in a world that desperately needs it. Your life will be a testimony to God's faithfulness, and through your journey, others will see His power at work.
C.S. Lewis understood that the ultimate purpose of our lives is to reflect God's glory. Fame, in God's kingdom, is not about accolades but about the responsibility to uplift, inspire, and lead others toward Him. As God prepares to reveal His work in you, He is also preparing others to walk alongside you. He is orchestrating connections. Bringing people into your life who will support, encourage, and challenge you in your journey. This community, bound not by blood but by spirit, will be your sole family, individuals who understand your calling without explanation. Together, you will be a testament to the power of God's love, a light shining in a world overshadowed by darkness. As you navigate this season of silence, remember that God is closer than ever. Every quiet moment is a step toward His divine revelation, a step closer to the purpose He has prepared for you. C.S. Lewis taught that the journey of faith is not always about loud victories but often about quiet perseverance. Embrace the silence, trust in God's timing, and know that your season of unveiling is coming. You are chosen, and nothing can change that. Hold steadfast to His promises, for in His perfect time, He will reveal the masterpiece He has created within you.